This is absolutely a kick in the face. Hello everyone and welcome for this new video. In this episode I'm going to be reacting to some paintings that you've suggested. Impactful, striking. This is what I was going for a few days ago on Instagram. I asked you guys which painting has impacted you the most. So I'm gonna have a look at some of the paintings that I didn't know and discover them with you. I haven't looked at the painting yet. I asked my wife to, I mean, prepare all the files so that I can just discover them and give you my spontaneous reaction. I, I chose only the intriguing ones and those I didn't know. So um, I don't know what to expect. I asked for something impactful um, <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what to expect. So, the first one, and let's jump right into this, is Anguish by Schenk. And the person said, but not in a good way. So, all right, let's, let's try, let's try this. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is dark. I see. I see how you told, not in a good way, but definitely impactful. Oh, I'm being kicked in the face right now. Let me let me just have a look. Wow. It's so dark, but it's so, I mean... Uh, so, colors. it's all about this brown, dark, and the white of the snow, which is actually gray. Now, let's talk textures. Man, the textures here in this painting, I don't know much about the artist Schenk, but the textures, you know, I'm a texture addict. I love textures. I like how the painter can recreate the texture. For example, the texture of the wool, the texture of the feathers, the texture of the snow. And right here, it's like texture overdose. And take it in your face. That's reality right here, striking you in the face and bam. This is so impactful. I really love this painting. I mean, I love sad things. And, well, this one, wow. So, I don't know much about Schenk. Actually, it's an artist I, I'm only discovering, Albert Schenk. This painting is from 1878. Uh, it's either like late romanticism or symbolism. Actually, it's not anything that's trying to be realistic. It's clearly aimed at you, human, because the title is Anguish, so it's it's a deceiving kind of idea, it's like pretending to just show you something that could just happen in nature, but actually talking about what's happening inside of you when you feel anguish. Like if uh, pretty a depressed person was telling me, all right, I suffer from depression and everything I can see in my head is this, I would say, yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is so strong. But again, it's good that you can have paintings like this to put this out, right? It's, it's better to have this picture in a frame on a wall outside of you so you can have some distanciation with these types of emotions rather than having them inside of you and they don't know how to get out. This is why we call expressing feelings, expressing emotions. And this is actually what this painting is trying to make. This is absolutely a wonderful painting and it's great that artists have spent energy and effort expressing this. Because it's better if it's expressed. It's better if images like this don't stay within. It's much better if 
images like this can have a reality outside of you so that you can put yourself at a distance and leave this outside of you and and yeah that's that's a very 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 impactful uh, picture for sure all right let's see the second one eine kleine nachtmusik by dorothy tanning all right so let me open it ready Okay. What the F is happening there? Oh, this is one of those paintings, right? <laughs> um, something is happening. It's creepy. It's dark. It's mysterious. I love it. Eine kleine Nachtmusik is definitely a reference to the piece by Mozart. All right, so I'm trying to make sense of what's happening, but I guess I shouldn't be trying to. It's definitely not the point. It does look very surrealistic. That's that's one thing that I can say. So I guess it doesn't make sense to try to actually make sense to what's happening in the painting. If it's surrealism, it's supposed to be entirely a work of the subconscious. I have to check that. I don't know the the artist. I don't know this this piece. I'm discovering it, so maybe I'll check. Maybe I'll put some info uh, for you to check the real the real thing about that about this work. If it's surrealism, the point is not to analyze it and to be like trying to find any type of symbolism. Uh, it's not symbolism. Uh, as the, the the artistic movement it's not you're not supposed to point towards something it's supposed to be you know the subconscious freely imagining and coming up with meaning that's not something that reasoning can can analyze it's supposed to be another language something speaking from within Um, okay, so the colors are, I think, meant to provoke this sort of gloomy feeling, atmosphere. So if you look at this, you have three main colors. You have red, this green, dull green and this yellow but if you analyze the colors more specifically the red is very obscure so it's it's toned down the more you obscure the more you darken a, a color the more the less chromatic it becomes so the less vivid it becomes so this red is really really toned down to the bare minimum even the red on the the, the young girl's um, shirt. The green as well is very dull. And the yellow is the only color that sort of pops out. It doesn't pop out on itself by the fact that it has such a, a powerful color in itself. It's more, it's more, it pops out because the other colors are very dull and, and dark. And I think that this association is supposed to create a sense of unease. There are colors that don't go well together. If you crank them up in Chroma, they don't go well together at all. And in this gloomy, dark atmosphere, they create this sort of dirty, dirty feeling. And I think it's on purpose to create this sort of mysterious thing. 
and the yellow is definitely the color that's made to to strike you to get your attention first of all of course the yellow with the sunflower which is gigantic by the way and um, and of course the yellow in this door which is the ultimate point that you're supposed to to point to this is where it's supposed to lead you the painting is entirely leading you through this door uh, halfway open very mysterious and very yeah impactful for sure i'm not gonna dare try to say what's going on in this painting is it impactful does it make you feel weird <laughs> oh yes it does just love it all right next one um so this one is i think from a contemporary artist brad Kun kunkel I'm, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing Fresh Air by Brad Kunkel and I, I have no information about this so let's see this is glorious this is glorious it looks like champagne with you know you have clearly this impression that she's crawling at the bottom of an ocean of some sort she's supposed to be climbing a hill but you have this strange texture with what looks like petals or leaves like going up like bubbles which is why it gives this impression of uh, of that it's champagne you have a little bit of titanium white here just to create this impression of the the texture of the lady uh, it's all grisaille black and white and you have this glorious gold hue it's absolutely wonderful I, I just love it and yeah fresh air so basically she looks like she's crawling at the bottom of an ocean and she's trying to climb her way back up and you're wondering she's Sort of having a golden mask around her face or something very mysterious. I like paintings with ambiguity and it's the best thing actually about the painting is the ambiguity. You never want to reveal too much. This one is, a, in, is an absolute beast. I like how you see the texture of the canvas, how you can see the brush strokes and you don't necessarily understand what they're supposed to be leaves flowers bubble of champagne it's really really hard to tell and that's exactly the best thing about the painting is the ambiguity you have to reconstruct everything you decide i mean the artist is not imposing its views on you the artist is not imposing his symbolism on you telling you exactly what the picture is about the artist is just suggesting something and you you decide I mean it's called fresh air so there's definitely a, a, an idea about asphyxia how she's she has her mouth covered and you can see how it can how we can all relate to this feeling now with with this pandemic more than ever and how you have this this great movement which is subtle it's a great movement very subtle at the same time um, yeah I just I just love it I'm a fan of this painting I, I like how efficient it is it's just getting right to the point is not there's no no time wasted in ornaments we just give you a basic indication of what everything is when you look from up close it's so abstract and even if you look at the distance it's so abstract which is great this is exactly the type of thing that you need it could be anything and uh, yeah very very impactful beautiful strangely beautiful deep emotional and just wow Love this piece. This is an absolute beauty. 
yeah, Brad Kunkel, just go check him out. Definitely a brilliant artist, so... Yeah. This was a great selection, guys. Thank you for all the other suggestions. I could only select three because it would make the video way too long, but... Uh, yeah, there were some great choices. A lot of them that I knew, some of them that I didn't know, and, uh, and it really was great to discover those that I didn't know. It was definitely a great thing to see some of them and, and, and visualize the impact. How can a painting create such an impact? And it was definitely a great experience. So um, make sure that you follow me on Instagram because I'm going to, I'm going to ask you guys random things like this all the time so make sure you follow me at Florent Farge Arts on Instagram all right so I'll see you for the next video and until then have fun painting have fun drawing and have fun making impact bye